welcome to the proper pineapple today i have a fo or finished object for you guys um it's not a really a new pattern per se i have made this before i made it for myself it was the my favorite crocheted pullover pattern by katie and the squid uh, i will link it down below but i made one for my son my oldest my monkey and he wanted it in green i do not know the n color of the red heart i used because i let him pick he picked red heart and i want to say it was like verde it's like a green almost camo you'll see in a second and then the trim of the sweater i did with karen simply soft in the color dark sage so i'm gonna show it to you here guys so here it is that's not it cute let's go up close of the yarn nice and green now i did do a couple of modifications on this now for starters i had to modify the size because um he was too big for the kid size and didn't quite fit into the adults so i just kind of roughly used her pattern and kind of did my own thing which is great whenever you buy a pattern if you want to make any sort of modifications or hacks to it feel free to it's your pattern do what you want now well i mean don't do it and then like try to sell it but like <laughs> do it for your own personal sweater so i had to modify the sizing and then um second was the neck her sweater is actually kind of like a cowl neck sweater oop i kicked the camera sorry but we didn't want that we wanted just a nice little like ribbed neck so i did that the other thing i should say i did was i had made this pattern for myself and i followed it exactly the way it was supposed to except for the neck i added a ribbed what i found was because you didn't do any sort of short rows or anything sorry piece of lint in the back it sat perfect around but it would like rub on my neck so i don't wear the sweater as much as i wanted to because of that so for his i did a little short row shaping at the back of the neck and you can see when i hold the sweater up now the back sits up a little higher which pushes that front forward and doesn't give you that choking um i'll insert a photo right here of him wearing it oh isn't he adorable anyway <laughs> he's over there too and the other thing I did was he wanted a pocket. You probably can't tell because it's all camo. But I made a little, uh, actually a giant kangaroo style, see, so pull through pocket for him. And I made this ridiculously long because he wanted it long. Plus, the kid grows like a foot every day. It's ridiculous. Stop growing. <laughs> so I made it long enough he'll be able to wear it for a while. So I did the red heart yarn in the body in the pocket. The little trim in the pocket trim of the sleeves the neck and the bottom border are all done in the karen simply soft and it's a really nice sweater i'm gonna make him try it on ready uh, try it on <laughs> he didn't want to try it on on camera because he said he looks funny trying on the sweater and i said well you look funny all the time i'm kidding <laughs> we like to tease fix your hair you. now i can't get my head inside the head hole because you have he has a big head guys but it's okay, we love him anyways. Fix your hair how mommy fixes it. Do the little floof. What? Floof. <laughs> you pretty floof like it. All right, all right, come on over here. It looks great. Come over here on camera. You're gonna have to like squat down, kneel down. Your head's not in there. There we go. There we go. I look can't at even get my sweater in Look there. at this face, guys. Isn't it cute? Okay, your hair's not how I like it. He washed his hair today, so it's so soft. It won't stay where I like it. But, but anyway. there, you can see the sweater. I don't want to see the sweater. I want to see your face. We want to talk to you about said sweater. I showed them the no, sweater. Kneel down. <laughs> Kids don't listen. All right, Bruce Wayne. Monkey. Whatever you want to be called. Get it. <laughs> oh. What do you think of the sweater? I like it. You like Do you? <laughs> what? I'm on a rolly chair. He's pushing me. <laughs> do you like the color? Yeah. Do you like the way it fits? Yeah. What is your favorite part of the sweater? The kangaroo pocket. The kangaroo pocket. What are you going to put in the kangaroo pocket? Nothing. My hands. Pokemon. My hands and Pokemon. No, I was kidding. <laughs> would Pokemon you wear Pokemon. another sweater if I made you another sweater? Yeah. Yes, he would. Please look at this good boy. I love this kid. Look at him. You <laughs> love me? Get off set. All right. <laughs> He's fine. I promise. You okay? Give the guys a thumbs up. Stick your finger in here. Show that you're okay. There we go. He's fine. <laughs> all right. All right. Shh. We gotta be serious. All right, guys. Sorry, we love to goof off. Star. <laughs> she just likes to make random noises. Anyway, so 
that is the pattern that is my finished object I had fun making it I actually started this oh my goodness so long ago and it sat forever and he was like mom I want it before we go visit our friends in New York and I had like three days and I was like oh ah! so I finished it but anyways it is done I do recommend it because it is such a simple pattern and it's really easy to hack to make it the way you would want your sweater adding you could have the cobble neck she has you can add a rib you could not add it at all if you didn't want any sort of thing so very good pattern it is linked down below i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i i promise we don't abuse the children they're fine <laughs> so i'm gonna get out of here mm -hmm. bye guys